stayed at the Sun Devil 30 yard line. Time becoming a major factor for Larry Smith and the Wildcats. The Devils have the ball and there'll be less than four minutes to play when it's snapped. Bruce Hill wide to the left, two tight ends are in. That's the tailback Harris, not much, to the 31 yard line. Craig Bessling submarined in to strip the interference. Brent Wood was there. Devils in a situation where they're almost playing for a tie. Tie would send him to Pasadena. He's trying to hold on to the ball for as long as they can. Second and nine for Arizona State, just beyond the Sun Devil 31. Paul Day delivers the play for the Devils. Three turnovers in the ballgame. Two of them have figured in the scoring, one for each team. Van Rapphorst with some time. Running out of time. Running out of the pocket. Now he throws long. Aaron Cox can't catch up with the football. Alan Durden, the free safety, had come over to pick him up. Van Rapphorst did a great job of avoiding pressure just to get the ball to Cox, and he showed his strong arm uh, in overthrowing it. And Durden showing why he's an All-American. Didn't get sucked up on that play. Stayed with the receiver the whole time. Aaron Cox was in position where he could have been wide open. We've seen that play happen a couple times in the last few years. Third and nine for Arizona State. Really third in the long eight, just short of the Sun Devil 32. 317 to play in the game. The game is tied. 13 apiece. Kirk Wendorf is in it, a running back along with Vince Moya, but the Devil's in a shotgun. Van Rapphorst is sacked at the 21-yard line. Dana Wells and a fumble. And the Wildcats have it. Stan Mataele comes up with a fumble. And the Cats have it in scoring position at the 20-yard line in Devil Territory. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Van Rapphorst goes back here. Gets some pressure. Fakes once. Drops the ball right there. There it is. And there's Mataele covering it up. Absolutely incredible. There is Stan. Ball at the 20 yard line. Three minutes and 10 seconds to go. Aren't the Wildcat fans please? Devils had too many, or Wildcats had too many men in the huddle, and now Horton leaves. Cats with two tight ends. That's James DeBoe, a yard at best to the 19-yard line. Trace Armstrong submarined in, and he was the first man to hit him. Second and nine, upcoming for Arizona. And now the Cats in position to play for the field goal. The Devils have used one of their three allotted timeouts over the Wildcat on the sideline. 2.45 to go. And counting. Second and nine at the 19. Walzak to the left. Howell to the right, two tight ends in the lineup. Only one wide man. DeBoe threw a big hole, which closed in a hurry when Scott Stevens stepped in to the 17-yard line. Third down and about five. Now, clock continues to run. There'll be less than two minutes to play the next time the ball is snapped. Cats just want to hold on to the football here. No mistakes. Down near the 15. Again, two tight ends in. Walzak left and Howell right. Fryer is the fullback. DeBoe is the tailback. James DeBoe taking good care of the football. Short of the first down, but he ran the ball to the middle of the field. John Knight was the first man to hit him, and here comes Max. As a freshman, Max won a game. At Notre Dame. You see there's never been a tie between the two teams. Arizona has the all-time series edge 32 to 26. As two years ago, Max won a game here. Last year, his two field goals against Arizona State were decisive. And now, after Arizona State has spent their second timeout of the uh, second half, Zenday Haas is contemplating a 33-yard field goal attempt that would give the Cats the lead. Had three field goals last year against Arizona State. And the Wildcats 16-10 victory, yeah. Two in the fourth. And trying for two more here in this fourth quarter. The Devils special unit. A timeout that Arizona State used early could be a major factor. This will be a 32-yard attempt. 
Troy Lawton will hold. His job is a difficult one, and Steve Justice will snap the ball. Not much of an angle for Max. Zendejas has two field goals tonight, including a uh, school record tying boot. He's shooting for his 77th field goal of his career. The Cats lead. One forty-three to go, Pete. One forty-three. It's sixteen thirteen. Max and Deha celebrating the field goal. All ASU must do now: move the ball downfield against the number one defense in the Pac-10 and kick a field goal. We and told you before, Pasadena. a tie would get them to Pasadena. But remember, the Sun Devils used an early second half timeout, and then they used one to make Max think about his attempt. Now, the Devils have only one timeout. Only four plays a five-yard drive, but uh, that's not the story. The story is Max Zendejas coming through under pressure once again. The top defense in the Pac-10 stands between Arizona State and Pasadena. 75 field goals for Max Zendejas. What a career. For your convenience, Max Sendejas getting ready to kick off. This is the umpire Henry Sidoris. Oswego, Oregon. Here's the boot. There won't be any return of this one. Daryl Harris watches it sail over his head. And the Devils are 80 yards away from the Wildcat goal line with 1.43 to go. Max Sendejas has certainly done his job. Kick them all. Actually, had to kick two extra ones because of penalties. Probably the last regular season field goal of his career, and what a career it's been. Now the Devils immediately go to work out of the shotgun formation, but the Cats don't have five defensive backs in. They play with their normal defense. What a defensive play! No, nope. what an offensive play by Stein Koss. Koss. And there's a penalty flag dropped, and it is holding. This one's coming back. Byron Evans dove for the interception. Couldn't hang on. Stein Koss dove for the ball and good. But instead, here's a 10-yard walk-off against the Devils with 1.40 to go in the game. What a break for the Wildcats. That call was against Danny Lockett back near Van Raphorst in the backfield. Flag was thrown awfully late. Here's the call. Repeat first down. Maybe we can see the hold here, Dave. Well, Van Rapport is in the pocket. No doubt about it. Yep. First and 20 for the Sun Devils out of the shotgun from their own 10. Van Rapport out of his own end zone, running out of time. He's going long for Cox over his head. Gordon Bunch was chasing him. That stops the clock with 123 to go in the game. Dave, I just want to duck in. This is our final regular season game of the year. It's been a lot of fun to work with you this year, and we've had a great crew at KGUN TV. My sixth year, I've sure enjoyed it a lot. This has been a, uh, a real fun year for me, too. I've had a great time, and this has been a super way to cap off the year. Of course, we've got one more to go. The Sun Bowl, we won't be broadcasting that game, but we'll be providing a lot of coverage for the viewers on Channel 9. Looking forward to it. Second and 20 for the Devils. Van Rapport's picked up the bad snap, and his throw is tipped and incomplete. Gordon Bunch stepped in front to block it away. Third and 20. The line of scrimmage, the de here's the bad snap. Line of scrimmage is the Devil's 10, remember? The bad snap, Van Rapport did have a lot of time, though. Zing this one down the middle. Bunch, who just has made a habit of knocking down so many passes this year, comes through with another one. Wouldn't you like to see what Terry Donahue looks like right now, the <laughs> UCLA coach? He's probably shivering. Oh, third down and 20 for the Devils, who would have to advance to their own 30 to gain a first. 118 to go in the game. Catch up by a field goal. Pressure on Van Rapport, but he throws, and it's intercepted by Chuck Cecil. Chuck Cecil inside the 25. There's a flag down. Cecil trying to get wide. Chuck Cecil racing for the end zone. He's in the end zone, but a flag is down. It's a 40-yard TD if it holds up. 
but there might have been a clip on the run back. The interception will stand. It was a post-possession foul. 1-0-2 to go, and the Cats are in the driver's seat. Chuck Cecil makes his sixth interception of the season. It couldn't have come at a bigger time. Big play. It, it was a clip. It's not going to be a touchdown, but possession is what counts at this point with a minute two to play as Chuck Cecil comes through with another big, big play. And the Sun Devil fans, it's just been a, a tough, tough night for them. There's the indication clipping against the Devils and the or clipping against the Wildcats. So a 10-yard interception return. There's the time remaining. The Devils have one timeout, and the Roses are wilting, unless the Devils can force a turnover. Cats have it at the Sun Devil 40. 1.02 to go, and Alfred Jenkins is going to sit on it. He touches it down. We're under a minute to play. And uh, the ball will be marked. There's the final Sun Devil timeout. The ball will be marked back at the 43-yard line, second and 13. That's not the, not much of a factor now. And if this score holds up, the Wildcats will have their best record in 10 years. An 8-3 and three record. Both teams will finish at 8-3. and three. Back in 1975, it was the Jim Young team that was 8-3. Devils are shooting for four victories in a row, or Wildcats shooting for four victories in a row over the Devils. 58 seconds to play. Keep in mind, in uh, college football, it's 25 seconds between plays. The Sun Devil fans said history shall not repeat, but that might not be the factor here. 1982, Arizona Stadium. Same situation, the Wildcats coming through, though, with a 28-18 win. The Wildcat defense forced four turnovers. Second and 13 for the Devils from the, for the Wildcats from the Devil 43. And again, Alfred Jenkins will just touch it down. Keep in mind, the Devils cannot stop the clock. Now, 51, 50, 49. They haven't started the 25-second clock yet. Now it starts with 46 seconds to go. That's Max Endejas. He's the hero. Three field goals for Max, a 57-yarder, but more importantly, the last field goal. The last field goal in the regular season for Max Endejas, giving Arizona the 16-13 lead. One more play. Jenkins touches it down. John Knight touches him down, and that'll do it. The Cats don't have to run another play, and Arizona has just won their fourth in a row over Arizona State. And are they happy? And the Devils are leaving the field. So Arizona wilts the Sun Devil Rose.